shocked uh, and I have to say also surprised because uh, until now Alexander Lukashenko has been a threat to his own people but not an international threat. So this represents a very significant and serious escalation uh, of what his rule means. This is a carefully planned operation uh, and it jeopardized EU and American citizens as well. It is pretty unprecedented and yes, shocking. Okay. What message do you think it is then that President Lukashenko is trying to send and to whom? I think he's sending a number of messages. The first is that he really now doesn't care anymore uh, what the international community thinks. Second, an unintentional message, if you like, is how insecure he feels. Uh, he went to enormous trouble and has further alienated uh, international opinion in order to get a single uh, online journalist. Uh, that shows uh, how uh, lack unconfident he is of his own domestic support. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, he's also sending a message that no one is safe from the reach of uh, Belarusian repression, even if they leave the country. Now, shocking and surprising as yesterday's act was, it's not the first time, of course, that journalists or opposition figures have been detained. What now should the EU be doing? The EU uh, is right to condemn this promptly and in the strongest terms, but it's important now to take the measures that will back that up. Uh, so I think the, the direction of travel now is to move from sanctions on individuals, which you've seen now, towards sanctions on larger aspects of the system. Uh, and that means, for example, uh, looking at uh, sanctioning major state companies, which uh, Lukashenko and his system are financially dependent on. It means uh, making it impossible for Belarus to raise uh, money abroad. It also means isolating Belarus internationally by uh, suspending its membership of various international organizations, including those responsible for international aviation as well. And it's not only the EU, it's the United States as well, which matters here. The US always carries the biggest sticks when it comes to sanctions. That's quite a heavy list there, but will President Lukashenko actually care about any of that? Uh, we'll see. It's important to understand that uh, sanctions aren't a, a switch you just turn on and immediately things happen. They take time to have effects. Uh, it will also be important for the EU to consult properly with the uh, demand for peaceful change in Belarus, which has uh, uh, erupted since last August, and ensure that their view of sanctions is, is taken on board. Um, but give it time. Uh, I think the right uh, careful but severe uh, set of uh, escalatory measures uh, will make a difference, not to Lukashenko himself, but to those around him who care for the future of their country rather than the fate of this discredited, uh, brutal authoritarian ruler.